Welcome to 3-Minute Thoughts. So recently I did a video in which I mentioned I don't believe in dream interpretations. Or I said I don't ascribe to. But anyway, I just, the concept feels hokey to me. And I'm someone who actually is very woo-woo and supporting of woo-woo type stuff. But that's my line. And the reason is, so the best, so when I have a dream, and I have dreams very often, and I remember them, when I retell them, I only retell like highlights, like little things. I'm taking something that has like the sight and sound and sometimes smell or, or tactile experiences and I'm distilling it into just a small subset of words and then someone else is then filtering those words through their own biases. An analogy I was thinking of is if I work hard on this jigsaw puzzle, this complex jigsaw puzzle, I make this whole jigsaw puzzle and then I decide to pick up the jigsaw puzzle and move it somewhere else and of course Jigsaw puzzles don't work that way. And in the process, the whole thing just falls apart. I'm just holding on to just a little bit of jigsaw puzzle pieces, just a few of them left. And then later, someone's asked me, well, what are those jigsaw puzzle pieces that you're holding on to? And I don't have them with me. So I try to like describe them or draw the puzzle pieces that I've left. And then that person tries to then tell me what the jigsaw puzzle artistic, like what it was and what the artistic merit of it all was from just a drawing of some pieces. That's how I see dream interpretation. It's a bad game of telephone. But counterpoint, someone who doesn't frequently have dreams and they have a dream will have, is, is, is what they remember is what is significant to them. So in that case, I could see if it's something that's significant to them and then they bring it out, you can get some deeper meaning from it. Overall though, I feel dreams are just like your mind is remixing your memories and experiences, especially like what happened or what you've been thinking about the past day or past few days and trying to recontextualize it. And it does it in a very sloppy, messy way. It's like taking like all your experiences from the past several days and putting them in a blender, literally, and putting it in a blender. And then that's what you get is this, this messy mishmash of previous stuff, which a lot of my dreams do have, like I can identify afterwards. Yeah, that element there came about because I was thinking about that a couple days ago or because that happened to me. Sure, some things are totally out of the blue and I can't quite reconcile them, but most of them have to do with things that have happened. I'd like to be surprised with like something new, like, ooh, I have no idea where that came from. That makes my dreams more interesting. But I feel like the more you like, the more you focus and, and retell your dreams, then the less significant parts come forward. So the less you can try to interpret them. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Those are my views. If you have other views, that's great. You do you. Have a good day. Thanks.